hearty hello and how is it going viewers brad proprietor of barstool entertainment doing another gta san andreas walkthrough video this is the fourth mission in what i kind of have called the oceans 11 style heist that franklin is planning of cliglia's casino and now having blown up the dam to cut the power to the city in dam and blast which makes no sense but i digress cj needs to get prepared and basically he has to steal some police motorcycles and yeah it can be a little tricky but there is kind of an order in which you steal the motorcycles, which works to your advantage if you do it right. And I'll try to outline it here in this video. The time it takes will be reduced, and it is a timed mission, which makes it a little harder to deal with. So let's get on with this mission called Cop Wheels. All right, here's the plan. It's all about the art of deception. While I get as much heat on me as possible, y'all get away with the green. Question, how does the Mafia normally move cash out of Caligula's? Bingo. Stripes of Mr. Zero here. Hey, good job, you little <laughs> ass Al. kisser. Al? So, we gonna steal ourselves an armored car and respray it so it looks like one of the regular trucks. What about the police escorts? Whenever they move cash around, they use police motorcycles as outriders. Exactly what I was thinking. Come on, come with me, and we're going to go get some cop wheels. Now, CJ tells the other guy to get a packer vehicle, and he's going to steal the bikes. One of the things you want to do is arm CJ up with a pistol, just in case you get into a little bit of a, um, how shall I say, tussle with the police. Now, the closest bike is actually by the airport but you want to ignore that you want to head straight north up the strip to a police station where the second bike is going to be you don't want to cut across to the airport area to get the first bike because there's a strategy to this to try and maximize the 12 minutes that you do have and you will get a wanted level, and the police will harass you, and that can cut down your time dramatically and cause you a lot of problems. So you go for this first bike. There is a police station right here, and you want to grab this first bike right here. You just walk over. The police will not bother you until you get on the bike. You will get a one-star wanted level. They will shoot at you. Just ignore them. Don't do anything. And you want to get around here and around this area. And you want to check on the progress of the packer. And it's right around coming toward you. So you don't want to chase it. Ah, oh, that sucks. But you want to get on the bike. And you want to get off the edge here, and rather than ride around in the, this direction, you go the opposite direction so that the packer will be coming toward you and you will be heading toward it, and you will meet in a certain area if you don't get knocked off the bike. And I'm going to fast forward to that meeting area. Now the packer is coming toward you, and you're on the opposite side, but you want to get around and get the bike onto the packer. And it's by the airport, which is key, because, ah, damn it. Now, you don't want to overshoot the packer, which you can do, and I'm going to accidentally do here. But you want to get the bike onto the packer kind of gently so that a cut screen happens. Just like this cut screen happens now. And then once you get CJ off the packer, you want to steal a vehicle 
and you're close to the airport, which is actually the next bike you're going to steal. And you want to try and get a car like this taxi guy. And once you get this guy out of the car, go to the airport and the next motorcycle, which you're just basically going to have to ram the guy off. And, you know, you can cut corners here, which is easier. And the second motorcycle is available here. And again, he's getting out of this police helicopter. Don't worry about running over civilians. All you got to do is square up and just ram this guy right off of his bike. And when he gets to go get back on his bike, just knock him off like you would anyone. You got a two-star wanted level. The cops are coming after you. Ignore it all. Just try and get this bike to the packer, which I'm going to fast forward. He's coming up, and you want to get it here. And again, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Oh, you can get the bike back onto the packer. And once you get it onto the packer, you're going to want to get off and steal another vehicle because the next bike you can ride the interstate all the way to and now you get Franklin off the or CJ sorry about that off the vehicle and yes police are all over you just want to steal a vehicle here and you want to drive get yourself in the clear and drive straight down the interstate to the next vehicle, which is by the um, whatever uh, radio station right here, uh, the hotel, what is it, K Rock or whatever it is, you just want to drive around quickly. And again, you're going to pass up the packer here. And if you could get off the interstate, you're going to have to get off near. The uh, K Rock Casino. I keep calling it K Rock. I might be wrong again. Um, here we are up. Here's the casino area. And you're going to have to get off at this area here and knock a few people around. Don't worry about wrecking things. You don't care. But here's where something gets a real problematic. Um, with the two star wanted level, oh, the cops are going to fight me on this. And yeah, they are hitting me with their cars. They're trying to pin me. And it's the V Rock Hotel. Sorry, not the K Rock, the V Rock. And they keep ramming my truck here. There's a guy trying to get into the truck. Uh, he gets squished. Sorry about that. But they try and box you in, pin you in. And again, this eats up a lot of time. But I'm not worried because once I get this motorcycle and get out of here and get this motorcycle, um, it's actually a lot quicker to the next motorcycle. And this one, again, you just go straight forward and ram, get out and fight the police to get on to this motorcycle, which is, again, up. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, damn it, I'm going the wrong way. But you get around, and now you take the motorcycle, and you get it to the packer quickly. And the motorcycle is much more maneuverable than the police cars. So I'm going to fast forward to the loading up the bike and the next part of this. Now, the packer is not that far down the road from you, and you can get onto the back of it pretty quickly and get off and steal another car once this cut scene is over. And the cars are going to, oh, the cops are going to try and get you, ignore them. Ah, oh, shoot, got ran over there. Yeah, I'm going to grab this Blista Compact and get to the next police officer which should be extremely close in fact just right up on this off ramp is where the next police officer is located and he's giving a sobriety 
checkpoint to some drunken cowboy and you just grab his motorbike and you can get back onto the highway and get to the packer if you don't run into the cops. And I'm going to fast forward to the next upload. This is the next and or this is the final bike. So you should be done pretty quickly. Again, ah, shoot, I'm just going to keep talking. What the heck? Why bother fast forwarding? Because the packer is actually not too far ahead. And you can get the bike onto the back of it relatively quickly. Again, if you do it the way I've explained it, things should kind of fall into place fairly quickly. And there you have it. The bikes are delivered. Okay, that should do us. Take care of those bikes. Now get out of here. Come on, mate. Yeah, move on. Well, if you do the bikes in the order that I have outlined, you should have enough time to get it complete, even though the police will harass you and kind of get you down to a razor's edge of time. But again, you go for the police um, headquarters bike, then the airport bike, then the V-Rock bike, then the sobriety checkpoint bike. And you, know, you should have enough time. And if you like this type of mission, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I do two missions a week. I also will be doing other games. I've done a Skyrim mission, or a few of those. But I'm going to stick with GTA San Andreas for the foreseeable future. So... I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, reminding you to subscribe or smash the like button. As always, thanks for stopping by. Such a buster now!